Hello and welcome everyone. We're gonna talk today about Fortnite keybinds. I'm gonna try to give you some insight behind my keybinds that I use in game almost every single day. I changed them twice already in my career and it's a huge hassle to go over new binds because you know muscle memory is a thing. So hopefully this will help you out a little bit to understand why do I have those keybinds and what maybe you should do or change or maybe you're doing already you know in a correct way um when it comes to the key binds yourself so let's start with the mouse i'm gonna start with uh what I, what do i use i use actually the logitech g pro wireless the g pro wireless is actually a fantastic mouse very light only 80 grams in a game like fortnite when you have very high sensitivity or relatively high sensitivity i think it's important to have a light mouse since you'll be using your hand so much you know yeah. now when it comes to sensitivity i'm using x and y with the same sensitivity why because i like feeling the same way whenever i i'm up or down when i want to control the recoil when i want to make a flick on the upper side or bottom uh i want to know that the, that the sensitivity is always the same so when i move up down left right it's always the same yeah. distance with the same type of movement there are so many binds that you will need and so many options that you will find more interesting for yourself than other players do but maybe you'll be inspired by the fact that you will see someone else's binds and that will make you think fortnite allowed you to not have sprint even bound since there's sprint by default option i'm using the sprint by default option since um i find it convenient that I don't have to press sprint all the time so it frees my one finger which is the pinky to do something else reload I moved it to mouse wheel up why you will know in a second but reload and use which I also moved to mouse yeah. instead of having on keyboard I moved them to the mouse because they are not that often used like oh you think to yourself what the hell is this guy even talking about right reload is not being often used well, it, when you consider the amount of other keybinds that you have to use, reload is one of those that you don't really need to use that often. So it's either automatic because you have zero, um, zero bullets and the game automatically reloads your gun, right? Or when you want to reload the gun, you, you sacrifice the, one of the best buttons in the game, which is like next to your pointing finger by having something that doesn't really impact the game. So I'd rather have another bind on my R than waste it for the reload, which is why I moved it to most wheel up since I don't do it that often. Now, when it comes to use, I moved it also to the mouse since I also think that it's not that really often used. Wall is Q for me, stairs is E, rooftop with X and F. I have it on two because I'm still learning on which one is more convenient for me. The trap is on T and uh, floor is on left shift since I can use the shift for something else than running since, since you know this print by default is being introduced so as you can see I'm trying to divide almost all of the buildings on separate on separate fingers so the wall is being pressed by the third finger right it's Q then you have the floor by the pinky with the left shift then you have the stairs on E and then you have the pyramid, which kind of, or roof, whatever you call it. You can press it either by your thumb on the X, or either you can press it on your, with your pointing finger on the F. But you can also think about maybe using V, an example, because that's convenient for using with the space bar. That's another option. So there's a lot of things you need to consider, but bear in mind, wall, floor, and stairs, in my opinion, it's crucial to have on the separate binds. When it comes to building, I build on keyboard. You can place some of your walls or some of your floors or stairs, whatever, on your mouse to allow your hand to be more rested. In my case, I just depend more on keyboard uh, because that's my own preference. So trap I left on T, although I'm thinking about moving the trap on a mouse button so I have like faster access to it. Since edit is something that you will use very often on a high level, like very, very often, and then you need very quick access. I thought about R, since the reload, this is why I moved the reload to the mouse, because I would put the edit on yeah. the R. That allows me to have just better access to the edit. I was thinking about putting it also on E, because that's even faster, 
but well i have my building on e and i played it with so long that i just put it on r but if i would make the keybinds from the you know from the ground up again now i would probably move the edit to to e since it's so quick you can do it so quickly it's like even faster than r as you can see it's really complicated when it comes to fortnite and keybinds there's so many options so many preferences that you want to try out and maybe even you know train when you change your building keybinds you're gonna have to adjust for like a month before you fully feel comfortable all right thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i brought you some insight into my own keybinds and maybe i hope i helped you guys see you in the next guide bye bye